The very first recommendation engine that we built using collaborative filtering was considered revolutionary 20 years ago. It was an early version of a machine learning algorithm. That recommendation engine helps customers discover related items, like a camera bag or the lens for a camera that a customer had just purchased. It's still on the site, and it's still a huge help for customers. When we later combined collaborative filtering with heuristics to make recommendations, we were able to give customers personalized recommendations rather than just showing them popular items. Fast forward a few years. Add in the exponential growth of computing power provided by Amazon Web Services, plus the improvement of sophisticated machine learning algorithms. And we start to get dramatically better results, on the order of two times better than a typical algorithmic improvement. That's a once in a decade leap. That helps us to personalize our content and recommend uh, goods that a customer uh, would like to buy and movies that a customer is more likely to watch. Let me explain how we achieved these goals. And it wasn't a straight line to realize the improvements. In 2012, we wanted to update our product recommendation algorithm to improve personalization for customers. We started from state-of-the-art graph clustering techniques. Then we shifted our approach under the hypothesis that deep learning methods would outperform matrix completion methods because we could take advantage of nonlinearities. But we found this approach performed worse than not only our best collaborative filtering algorithm, but just a simple bestseller, a ranked list. Then we used a, a common artificial neural network called the sparse autoencoder. But it was still not as effective as collaborative filtering or the bestseller list. In fact, we tried methods based on singular value decomposition, bilinear regression, and restricted Boltzmann machines. Nope. None of these matrix-based uh, matrix, matrix completion-based methods underperformed or overperformed compared to our production algorithms and simple lists. We were surprised that the state-of-the-art methods would perform worse than a simple bestseller list. So it prompted us to take a step back and think about the objective function that we were trying to solve. We looked inside the black box to identify what was happening. I'm going to explain this in the context of Prime Video, but the same approach applies to many products on Amazon. We found that matrix completion methods learned that classic or Oscar-winning movies would be of interest to many customers. Makes sense. However, we saw that given an evening at home on a rainy Saturday, customers preferred to watch a newly released movie rather than an old movie. In other words, Captain Marvel beats Casablanca. This learning became the foundation of our winning approach. We developed a new model for recommendations using multi-layer neural networks for classification. We trained the model using a loss function for predicting what customers wanted to watch in the next week. What you see on the screen is the formulation behind the model. We took historical movies that, cust that customers were watching in order to predict the movie a customer wanted to watch next week. The neural network classifier outperformed other neural network-based approaches that are much more complicated. The simplicity of this model made it inherently more scalable, so we could expand to many millions of products and hundreds of categories across Amazon. And it performed two times better than collaborative filtering, so we had a winner. 